How to create an invoice generator web app in HTML JavaScript. Let us start by creating the invoice form. For the first section, add fields for the invoice number, date, and bill to. Next, a section for the invoice items. Every item will have three fields, quantity, item name, and price each. Following up, the grand total. Finally, three control buttons for the invoice form, load, save, and print. To speed up data entry, we can attach predefined items to the form. In the JavaScript, create a list of items and their prices. Then, create an invoice object to contain all the mechanics. On window load, run an init function. Get all the necessary HTML elements. Loop through the items and populate the item's data list. To set the price automatically, call a price function on item change. Now to deal with the actual add item, call an add function. Simply clone the entire add item section, but make some changes. Remove the ID. Set all the fields as required. Change the Add Item button to Remove Item. Finally, reset all the Add Item fields. To calculate the total amount, create a function to loop through all the items. Multiply the item quantity and price, and add it to the total. For simplicity, we will exclude tax and additional charges. Feel free to modify and add those to your project. Next, calculate the totals when an item is added. Also, when an item's quantity or price is changed.
Lastly, when an item is removed, To save an invoice, call a save function and create a data object. Collect the invoice number, date, bill to, and items. Create a blob object and set the JSON encoded data as the content. Lastly, create an anchor tag and force download the blob object. To load the saved invoice file, call a load function on selecting a file. Create a file reader and read the selected file. On successful load, reset the invoice form. JSON decode the data and repopulate the form. To print the invoice, first create an invoice template. Set your company logo, address, and information. Add the customer, invoice number, and date. Lastly, the items and totals. Call a print function on form submit. Do a quick check, make sure there is at least one item. Open the invoice template page. Transfer the invoice data, items and totals onto the template. Then, print it. To turn the invoice generator into a serverless web app, create a manifest file to contain the app name, icons, and settings. Then, Register the manifest in the HTML header. To support offline mode, cache all the project files.
register a service worker. Set the worker to return files from the cache if found, else fall back to fetch from the server. Take note that the web app is now installable. All the project files are saved in the cache. The service worker will serve the cached copies instead of loading from the server. That's all for this short tutorial. Like and subscribe for more!